Today, I am talking about the market report for Box Elder County, August 2019, and we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Angela Duong with Coldwell Banker Tuga Realtors and MadHomesUtah.com. And if this is your first time to our channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and hit that bell to be notified of new videos we will have every Tuesday. Today, we're going to be talking about August 2019 versus August 2018. Let's talk about new listings in August 2019. There was 88 new listings in 2019 and 73 new listings in 2018. That is a total of 20.5% up in new listings. Sold listings. This year, there were 73 listings sold in August 2019. And in August 2018, there was a total of 62 listings. That is up 17.7%. Let's go on to the active listings for the month of August. In August 2019, there were 142 active listings. And in 2018, there were 107 active listings, which means this year, active listings in August came up 32.7%. The median sales price in August 2019 for Box Elder County was 240,000. And in 2018, the median sales price was $236,011. That brings the change from August to August up 1.6%. Days on market have not changed very much over the past two Augusts. In August 2019, the Median days on the market was 26, and last year in August 2018, the median days on market was 24. So we're still at under 30 days with home selling, which is great news for sellers. Okay, so list to sold price. That means that you're taking the original list price and seeing how it varies from the actual sold price. The median percentage of homes list to sold in 2019, August, was 99%. And in 2018 in August was 98%. That is a 1% difference, but still that's very high. That's saying that sellers are getting almost all the money they're asking for in their list price. So that's great news. Under contract numbers, and what we do in our MLS, recently they made a change in, I think it was last year, that what we could do is if we had an offer on a home, we could put the status into backup status so that sellers could get other offers and have backup offers in case the first one doesn't work out. So it adds the time frame up. So I've decided to include the under contract and the backup numbers in the under contract number because they are technically under contract, but they are looking for backups. So in 2019, the total under contract and backup status numbers was 110. And in 2018, the total under contract and backup numbers was 77. So that was up 42.9%. So we're having a lot more homes under contract this month than we did last year in August. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. I want you to know that if you are interested in just a specific city in Box Elder County or the numbers for Cache County, Weber County, or any other counties here in Utah, I'd be happy to provide you the numbers for that area specifically. You can go ahead and contact me. My contact information is down below in the description box. And also, if you are thinking about buying or selling in the next few months, I have links to my home buyer and seller guides down below. I'd love for you to read them and see if they help you make the move. And again, go ahead and reach out to me. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you liked this information. And share with your friends. Look forward to seeing you in the next video next Tuesday. Okay, so let's take a look at the under contract. And in August 2028, 